Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a little bit different. It's been colder than a Yeti's butthole. Wow! <laughs> I have not had no desire to be outside almost. I went to, I went to the CrossFit box once this week I think. It's been like negative 20 degrees which is just too cold for me so I am very ready right Nemi very ready to go to India. I'm going to India, Goa and uh, Kalangut and then this video will just be me trying to figure out my chaos. I have no system, I have no plan but I am just prepping for that while I'm answering some questions. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some anonymous messages and um, you guys delivered and now we will read while I go through what to bring to India. I have this huge freaking suitcase here which I have to figure out how much space I have because my mother is already in India, I'm meeting her there. Uh, she's at the apartment and she needed to bring some stuff for it. So there's a lot of stuff in this suitcase that she needs to bring, which I have to bring for her. So I'm very excited to see how much space I actually have, which probably isn't too much. So let's see what we got of space in here. Not a lot. This is full. <laughs> what was she thinking? I need to bring like my protein powder and some oat flour. What the f mom? Let's just get into some questions. I don't know how much I will get done in this video, but at least we will hang out and answer some questions together. Right, I need to... What's this now? Let's get into the first question of the video. What do I like most in a man? Boring. Knitting stuff. What is your diet for CrossFit training, if you have one? Well, straight answer is I do not have one. I don't follow any specific diet other than that I don't eat meat <laughs> and fish. But uh, yeah, no diet at all. I just keep count on my calories. Um, make sure I get at least uh, a sufficient amount of protein and carbs. But yeah, other than that, no, I just uh, calorie count mostly. Just to make sure I stay on track because I can easily fall off the wagon. I love food and I have a big sweet tooth. So calorie count <laughs> for me. But yeah, no, other than that, nothing. Good question. This is a three part question or a message. So a female friend of my boyfriend flew all the way from South America and met up with my boyfriend for the first time after four years of online friendship or whatever you would call that. She tried to lure him into cheating on me even though she met me. He of course rejected and explained that he is in a happy relationship etc. She got pissed because she got rejected and traveled to a neighboring city and came back after a few days. I acted like I didn't know of her intentions and we got along well. She's going to visit us again soon. Why? And I don't know if I should act friendly or tell her that I know what she tried to do or if it's even rele relevant as she is obviously a person with no morals and also has low self-respect. But my first question then is why is she coming again? And why is your boyfriend still in touch with her? I mean, she already proved that she's not a good friend when she's trying to make your boyfriend cheat on you with her. So if it was me and a friend of Boris, a friend, whatever you would call this, hell no, don't come back, stay away. If you're gonna be disrespectful and stepping over boundaries and making people uncomfortable and also try to make someone cheat on their girlfriend, like, sorry, but get the f away from our life. Like, get out, you're not welcome. She has proven that she has no respect for your guys' relationship or even the friendship. So to me, that woman is a huge red flag and I would never invite her back. And why is your boyfriend accepting her to come back? No. Your boyfriend need to get his shit together too because no, that is not okay and definitely not okay on behalf of you. I don't think she should ever come back and I don't think your boyfriend should be in contact with her. It's weird to me that he is. Like, why are you still in a friendship with this person that tried to make you cheat? Mm -mm. 
Oh my goodness, Nemi, there is no room for me in this bag. <laughs> I'm in my mid-twenties and just had my first kiss. We were sitting in her car and she basically bullied me into confessing my feelings for her. Then she said she liked me back but that we couldn't be together. Then she started trying to suck off my face. It was the best and worst day of my life. I mean, okay. I love metal music, but I'm too scared to tell people I listen to it and play guitar because of how I look as a girl. What do you mean? Why? Why? Why are you scared of it? Come on, play guitar, listen to metal and be proud of it. If that's what you enjoy, then you should just do it. I think it's badass. Keep doing what you're doing. What is my favorite place slash region in Norway? Uh, definitely west side of Norway. West, the west of Norway is really beautiful. Um, highly recommend everybody to go and see it. Uh, the mountains, the fjords, the waterfalls, the forest, I mean everything over there is just perfect, honestly. Highly recommend going on the west side. I don't know if I will ever fucking use this one. See this is the problem with me when I'm going through my clothes, especially when I'm trying to declutter, I literally cannot get rid of anything. Even though I never use it, I'm like, ah, oh, but maybe, you know, it's like that. Bikini we definitely need. I will probably never use this bikini bottom. It's very tiny. You never know. What else do we need? Uh, we need shorts. This is not a shorts. This is leggings. Bah! No, this is see-through. <sighs> My Halloween top. Crop toppy. I mean, I, I can't get rid of it because it's cute. I hate myself. Life sucks and then we die. Thank you for inspiring me to start CrossFit. <laughs> Life-changing. Do you incorporate any kind of stretch routine yoga with your practice? Oh my God, I'm so happy I inspired you to start CrossFit. That makes me so happy. And I'm so happy for you. And I'm so happy that you enjoy it. It was really a life-changing experience for me too. And uh, it really got me into fitness. Mm, that makes me so happy. Great, good for you. Do I incorporate any kind of stretching uh, or yoga with my practice? Um, mm, I should be much better at it. I'm very bad at remembering to do it. I mean, I just do the regular old like pigeon stretch and uh, you know, the basics, uh, depending on what muscle group I trained that day or what muscle group we were focusing that day. So yeah, I should definitely get better on it, but definitely do some simple stretching, like five minutes after your workout, just do some good leg stretches and arm stretches or whatever you did. So stretching is really good and uh, really important to stay mobile to, and to increase fitness. So definitely stretch. I need to do that too. I will never use this. Let's be honest. I think I'll donate it. Uh, these are too tight, <sighs> uncomfortable. Gimshark. Which one is this? I'm scared that my ass is too big and then I'll make it see through. Definitely want to bring my tank top. Tankity top. Now I sound like my grandma. Shorts. We do want shorts. Next question. What's my favorite book? Oh God. Oh my God. I haven't read books in forever. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I have, I think, oh gosh. Wait, I just need to grab some paper, a pen and paper, because I don't have control of what I'm packing at the moment. Shit, I've sp I'm so bad at reading books, guys. What's the recent books I've read? It's like The Witcher? <laughs> nah, I have to be cheesy and just go with um, Lord of the Rings, honestly. I just got the Salmarillion, which I will bring to read on my way to India. So we'll see, maybe that will change. What did I pack so far? I have one pair of shorts. Shorts, bikini, singlet. What is my biggest insecurity and or fear? Biggest insecurities, difficult. Maybe to look dumb, I don't know, looking stupid. Or is that my fear? I think that maybe much more my fear and then heights. But my biggest insecurities. Whoa, I don't know actually. What am I insecure about? I mean, I'm insecure about a lot of things, but when you get to questions, it's so hard to like, bleh. I guess to look stupid or look dumb or be, or be misunderstood maybe. I don't know. Or failing or not progressing, stuff like that, I guess. It's my 
fears and insecurities, I have to confess that you're absolutely the greatest human being alive. Hope you have lots of fun and experiences this year, bestie. Thank you, Eddie. You're the best. What else we need here? This I definitely need for the jungle trip, if we go to the jungle. I think we will go to the jungle, so I will bring this sports bra. Extreme sports. Where are my black shorts? Where are my black shorts? Full shirt. Teeny weeny tiny shorts that I will never fucking use. These shorts are too short. <laughs> Tanky tip. Nah. It's good to know where I got, where I have them. These are too see-through. Motorhead. Yes. Hey Susie, I hope you're doing fine. Why did you choose to go to India? Have you been there before? Is this some kind of spiritual search? So my mother and stepfather owns an apartment in India. They've been going there like every year for the past 15 or so years. I went there with my mother and grandmother in November 2019 and it was the best freaking 17 days of my life. I absolutely fell in love immediately with the people, with the culture, with the food. I mean, I always loved Indian food, but tasting it in India, pff, damn. So yeah, I just, I fell in love with it and I want to go back. <laughs> and then my mom offered me to come visit her for a couple of weeks um, before my stepfather heads down and... Uh, yeah, that, that's basically why I want to go to India. Um, and yes, I've been there before once. And no, it's not uh, it's not like a spiritual search or anything. It's just, I love it. It's really underestimated. I think everyone should go once. I mean, you either you hate it or you love it, I think. Um, but the people are so, f ugh, they're so amazing. CrossFit tank top, yes. Where to find metalheads? I can't find anyone. I guess at... Uh, concerts maybe <laughs> I don't know uh, they're hard to find they, they rarely go outside it seems these are Boris yeah I I, I, I don't know I guess to go to concerts um, metal pubs if you're old enough festivals that's where they lurk <coughs> excuse me what's this what's this there's colors everywhere will you be taking part in the CrossFit open I would love to uh, I did attend last year, but I got sick, of course. Like, I remember, even the year before when I wasn't attending, I got sick. And for some reason, I always get sick around that time. But that used to be in February. So maybe now, since it's in March, maybe I will do it. I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about it. But I will let you know if, if I decide to uh, attend, for sure. Favorite bands? Oh my god, that, my favorite, my band, English? My favorite bands keep changing from week to week. Like, lately I've been listening to like a lot of like 80s heavy metal. Currently I've been listening a lot to like Led Zeppelin, like Nazareth and you know, those kind, that kind of vibe of music. So yeah, no, that's like constantly changing for me. I don't like tight, I don't like, I never wear these kind of my old like band shirts and stuff because they're so tight and I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like wearing tight clothes, man. I mean, yeah, leggings, sure. But like t-shirts, they have to be like triple or five XL. Hey, I love your channel. You have great sense of humor and watching your videos always put a smile on my face. Enjoy your trip to India. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Are there any music genre slash artist apart from metal that you like? Oh, many. Like, my queen is Janis Joplin. I love queens. I love Jimi Hendrix. I love uh, Van Halen and Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash. I love all the classic, you know, even Robert Johnson from like the 1930s, like blues. Oh my God, I love blues. I love a lot of music. I love music. It's like, it's not just strictly metal for me. I love music. Good music with soul in it. It's just, mm, and you don't see that anymore. I feel like you, it's so rare that you see music with like soul and passion in it. Like the recent bands that I've seen with that kind of passion and soul is uh, The Vintage Caravan and uh, Greta Van Fleet amazing 
How long am I filmed for? 42 minutes. 42 minutes. Jesus Christ, mate. I need shorts. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, shut up. That's his vest. What is his vest doing in my clothes? I love your dog. <laughs> me too. Can you tell me what breed uh, she is? I'm curious because I live in Italy and I've never seen a dog like that before. I have a very good Yorkie and I would like to get her a little sister. Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. I love Yorkshies. And Emmy is actually a little bit of Yorkshie. She is uh, a mix of a lot of things. Her dad was a 100% Chihuahua, so she's definitely half Chihuahua. Um, her mother was a mix of Maltese and Shih Tzu and Yorkshire. So yeah, Chihuahua, Maltese, Shih Tzu, Yorkshire. That is the mix. That is the mix of perfection, if you ask me. <laughs> Greetings from Montreal. I wish you a wonderful year in 2024. Thank you for sharing with us your emotions and moods as well as your daily life. I appreciate your honesty. I wish you a good trip. All the best, Susie. Thank you so much. You guys are so kind. <laughs> your boyfriend is hot. Crazily hot. Super hot. How you can go to go in India knowing that half of Norwegian female population would like you to sleep with him? Boris, you're an idiot. And I know it's Boris because of the terrible grammar <laughs> and the way he's phrasing it. Frick you. Okay, so a lot of people ask me what I do for a living. So the thing is that I am um, not working at the moment due to uh, some events of my life, um, which is private. And I, I can tell you that I am working my way up, I guess you can say. I'm reaching a good place in my life, mentally and physically. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a long journey getting to where I am today, where I am able to actually focus on what I want to do for a living, which... I hope will uh, have something to do with CrossFit. Um, I am currently reading up on the CrossFit Level 1 certificate, which I'm very excited about. It's also very scary. It's a big step. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping maybe that will be something I do for a living. Yeah, I don't want to get too deep into it. Uh, it's kind of like just certain life events made it the way that things were and it's been very difficult but I've done a lot of work and self-healing and um, yeah now we're here and I'm better than ever and things are going more up than down so yeah but yeah I understand the curiosity but it's a difficult question for some people so just keep in mind that some questions are very hard for people to answer there's a lot of shame behind it you know um yeah it's just difficult but yeah i understand your curiosity of course um but that is the answer i am willing to give at this moment okay guys <laughs> that's all i got time to do i've been filming for like almost an hour jesus christ this is gonna take forever to edit hopefully i'll get it up for you tomorrow <laughs> but yeah I wasn't able to pack half of the stuff I need. At least I get to hang out with you guys and uh, get to know you a little bit better. Or maybe you get to know me a little bit better. The coming week I will uh, be going to India, as you know. And I'm, of course, taking you along with me in the entire trip. Because I'm traveling all alone in the big open world. And I am scared because <laughs> it's outside of my freaking continent and uh, yeah I'm very nervous about it so it's gonna be kind of a soothing thing to bring you guys along with me on that trip and uh, share with you how it goes until then guys um, make sure that you are safe and happy and that you show up for yourself and um, I don't know hug your pets or something bye <laughs>